Okay, everyone. So thank you. Hopefully this thing is running. I'm here to talk about something that I care a lot about, and that is how a career in STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, will get you a date. So why am I talking about this? It's because the U.S. has a large shortage of people who are trained in these technical fields. Think about this. In Delaware, we're going to need 1,500 people to work at that, that new electric facility that's being built. And where do they come from? Well, teenagers who are looking for career options. Why don't we relate to them? And, you know, something like this. What are they concerned about? Dating. So who are these two hunky fellows? Can people tell me? Who are these two guys? Silver Bill Gates. Bill Gates. Very good, Bill Gates and Steve Jobs. Now what do they have in common? Obviously they're the heads of large, very successful technology corporations. They're worth billions of dollars. They drive cool cars, that's an assumption that I'm making. But they're married, so at some point in their life they were able to get a date despite all of that. <laughs> so how does a career in STEM help get you a date? First, look at these pickup lines. These are awesome. I wish I was your derivative so I could lie tangent to your curves. <laughs> have a job. Um, and the U.S. Bureau of Labor and Statistics is projecting that a lot of the fields in STEM are going to be growing over the next few years, up until 2014. What that translates it to is 2.5 million new jobs in these areas uh, by 2014. Remember, they don't want no scrubs. They don't want for these ladies. Second way that a career in STEM can get you a date, look at these tattoos. These are awesome. I mean, they're like If you really want to go all out, look at this guy. He even has a hydrogen bonding between space pairs, correct? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 